Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome to part four of our Fallout settlement guide. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be describing to you guys very, very briefly what exactly is a settlement. So, unless you're like me and you're just building settlements just for the fun of it, you may be thinking, what exactly is the point and why should I waste all of my time on it? Basically, what you have to do is create your own economy, and the aim is to produce more resources than your settlers need to live, okay? And then that way, any excess resources will be given to you. So settlers can be given jobs to work producing food, scavenge, and working any stores that you have in your town. And if their happiness is high enough, their productivity will go up, and the amount of resources and things that they produce each day will be higher than they can consume themselves, which means any excess will be given to you. Okay, so any surplus food and water anything that's been scavenged that doesn't be needed by any of the settlers and any excess bottle caps from stores will be delivered to your workshop's inventory. Okay, but in order to do this, you have to maintain your town. Okay, which means you have to keep up your defenses and you have to keep your settlers as happy as possible by giving them water, power, shelter, beds, and food. Okay, and if you don't, the happiness level will go down your productivity will go down, which means you'll stop getting all those excess resources and you can even go in the opposite direction and there's a lack of resources, which means there's a chance of your settlement turning on you. Okay, so that brings us to part two of this video, which is all of the things that are in your settlement at the top of the page on the bar. Okay, and we're just gonna quickly go through these. The first one is people, and it essentially indicates how many people live in your settlement. Some people will already be here if you decide to build a settlement at a workshop, which is where you can build settlements. And if you don't, you will have to attract settlers. But we're going to go into that in a different video, so we're just going to skip past that one for now. Okay, the next one is food and water. Alright, and this indicates how much food you're producing every single day. If it's in the red, it means you're not producing enough food and you'll need to go and make more. Each settler needs one food and one water a day to be happy. And the food and water can come from the current production, resources stored in your workshop's inventory, which is your excess, or from other workshop settlements linked with supply lines. And again, guys, we are gonna go over supply lines in a different video. Okay, the next one is power. And that, again, just simply indicates how much power production you need for your settlement. If it's in red, it indicates you are low on power and you'll need to produce more. Okay, guys, we're gonna skip past that again because we will go over it on its own kind of separate video all right the next one along is defenses this one's very simple again all of these things along the top bar just indicate your levels so the defense one is just your defense value and red indicates that your defenses are not good enough and if your defenses are low and it's red it does mean that you are more likely to be attacked by raiders all right so you want to make sure that you get those up the next one along is beds and again, guys, just simply indicates how many beds are in your settlement. Now, you want to have at least one bed for every single settler in your town. And you want to make sure that preferably their bed is inside. All right. And like all the other ones, if the beds are in the red, you want to build them quickly or your overall happiness may go down. All right, guys, the final thing we're going to go over is happiness and your happiness rating. We have already covered it a little bit. You want to have a higher to have a higher productivity, okay? And that way you will have higher excess resources. And that is a good thing. Okay, but there are a few things that you need to know about happiness. Some of the objects in your town actually produce happiness. So if you can, you can build them. And there are a few things that are not part of the bar at the top, which can make your settlers unhappy, which are raider attacks and kidnappings and some other things like that. So you want to watch out for those. And also the happiness bar doesn't move up and down straight away. It slowly changes over time, up or down. Okay, so make sure that you keep an eye on it. All right, guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know about settlements. Hopefully you guys found something that you didn't already know. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video where we're going to go over power.